What's up guys, Cam's Kicks here, and welcome to my crib. All right, so this is the living room right here. The first thing I wanna show you guys, I think you guys have seen this. If you guys missed the video, definitely go make sure to check it out again. Uh, this piece right here, I actually bought this from a customer in the store. He came in and bought a pair of shoes from us, and he said he was a local artist. And he said he's had that piece since around January or February, I think. And that was one of his favorite pieces. It's a one of one, so you can't get that anywhere else. And he didn't want to sell it at first. He said pieces like that usually sells for around five to 600. We negotiated a deal. He started at 450. I was like, I'll give it 400. We ended up meeting at 420. So that's definitely a really cool piece. Monopoly is my favorite board game. I used to play it a lot as a kid. So I thought that looked pretty cool there. We might get a TV there eventually, so I'm not exactly sure. All right guys, so comment down below if you think we should get a TV there instead of that painting. Uh, and also comment down below what you think we should add to this because it is a little bit empty right now. You might get like a small pool table, something like that. So let us know what you guys think it needs. Uh, but if you look right here, this is the kitchen table, obviously. I got these pretty cool chairs. I really like these designs. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but pretty cool wooden table. Got some nice looking chairs. And if you look over here, we have a plant in the corner. Uh, one thing you guys will see is I did try to incorporate a few plants in here. I think they look pretty cool and they add a good addition to any type of house or something like that. Uh, so if you look over here now, obviously it's empty, there's no couch. If you can, they pop up a picture right here of the couch that we ordered. So unfortunately, I ordered it over a month ago to my old house in Pennsylvania. Uh, we redirected it to here, it still hasn't gotten here, so we'll definitely give you an update in future videos once we actually do get the couch in, but obviously we don't have it right now. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to take you guys to the kitchen. So we go right over here, and then we got a trash can right here. We got a couple lights. Pretty nice kitchen. I do like the cabinets, so they're not bad. Pretty cool. Uh, right here we have a blender, so I just started making some smoothies. I might show you guys that later on, so stay tuned if you guys want to see that for whatever reason. We got the dishwasher, which we don't use. We hand wash all of our dishes, so and then we just got a few like bowls and plates. We don't really use them that often because we don't do a ton of cooking. Uh, we get a lot of like frozen food and do eat out a lot, unfortunately. So maybe we'll get better with that. We'll see. But we actually do have a gym here, which is really cool. And we played basketball earlier. There's a nice half size court there. So that's pretty cool. We're definitely going to try to start being more active and things like that. That's definitely a great part to this apartment complex. So and I don't know too, I thought when I got this, it was an apartment, but I think it's more of like a condo. And I'll show you guys why, because this is the first floor and we actually do have like a garage and things like that thing. Right here, nothing crazy. It's just laundry room slash pantry. There's a few shelves over there. We don't really have much on them, but that's how that looks. Now, if you head over here, this is actually where the RLE Danny, Daniel's son, he actually resigns over here. So I don't know what he's uh, doing right now. Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, so, so. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We're filming an uh, apartment slash condo slash house tour video. Yeah, not on this side, bro. Oh, what's up? You my got a girl in there? Nah, nah, my room's not ready, man. <laughs> oh, I guess, all right. So I guess his room's under construction right now. Yes. Um, one thing, I don't know if you guys know about me, but when I want to do something, I always want to get it done. So I tried to get my room done as quick as I could and get everything in there, but his is going to take some time, I guess, so. Yeah, I take my time with my stuff. <laughs> but we can't show them this, though. What's this? The garage. Oh, you're right. All right, so we do have a garage here, like I was saying earlier. I know I just said that. Uh, this is where the future Tesla is going to go. Everyone knows I don't have my license right now, but while I'm out here, I'm definitely going to be working on that. Uh, so this is where that will go eventually, and I think Danny might break his car in the meantime. We'll see. But... Yeah. Just a open garage. Open for opportunity. All right, so that's the garage. Now, this is the part that everyone's probably been waiting for. So this is where my room is right here. I have the first room and then his room's over there. So yeah, I guess I'll show you guys my room. All right, so the first thing when you walk into the room, I have this little painting right here that I've had for years. So that's actually from the Blue Man Group. I went to a show with my dad a few years ago. I don't even remember when, it was like a really long time ago. And they painted that live on stage and actually ended up giving it to me. So that's pretty cool, yeah. And one thing you guys will definitely see, my favorite show, I've said it so many times, greatest television series of all time in my opinion, Breaking Bad. I have a couple of Breaking Bad posters. This is the first one. Uh, first poster right when you walk in the room and then under that I have an El Camino poster So that's actually a movie. It's like a story that takes place after Breaking Bad just came out I want to say one or two years ago. I forget exactly when 
Then I just got a couple bake posters right there. I framed them. A lot of posters I had and stuff weren't framed, so I got some frames before I moved here and hung those up. And then this right here, this is just a Gucci bag. I actually got that from the Gucci store a few years ago, and I don't know why. So I ended up just keeping the bag and I just framed it before I moved here. So kind of weird, but I think it does look cool on the wall. And then I got a Supreme Kermit the Frog poster right there. I hung up a Travis Scott Reese's Puff box right there and then a Supreme newspaper that does never frame. But and then this is my sneaker collection right now. So I have about 25 pairs of shoes. I'm not gonna talk about all of them because I'm pretty sure some people might wanna see a sneaker collection video. So comment down below if you guys wanna see a sneaker collection video. If this video gets 2000 likes, I'll do a sneaker collection video. Uh, I might wait until I get a few more pairs because I am waiting on some. Like I just did get the new Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Fragment, so that's one I'm definitely waiting on. And I'll just show you a couple of my favorite shoes real quick. So this, as many people know, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time, the Nike Air Max 197 Sean Witherspoon. So he's actually another sneaker store owner. He's the owner of Round 2, uh, one of the most successful sneaker stores out there. They've been in business for years, so pretty cool shoe. We did a collaboration with Nike. He won the Nike Air Max competition. I forget exactly what it was, but comment down below if you guys know the exact story. So that's the kind of story on those. That's always been one of my favorite shoes. I've had them so many times, we sold them, bought another pair. This pair, I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I definitely got them for a really good price because I got them in a trade. So one more shoe I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, this is one of my everyday shoes now, which is crazy. I almost use this as a beater, but I love Jordan 1 Lows, as I'm sure you guys can see by some of the shoes I have. This is obviously the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. This is the original pair, like I said, they just did come out with another one, but yeah, this is one of my favorite shoes. They don't come with these laces too. I threw in these laces from a pair of Mocha Ones that my dad has, and I think it looks pretty good. It matches the smooth, so yeah, that's one of my favorite shoes, and I guess if you guys look right here, this is my bed, nothing too crazy. Um, one crazy thing though, so my entire life, I've only slept on a twin bed. I finally got a queen bed, so this is my first queen bed, and it has a pretty nice bed frame, I guess. And if you guys can look right there, I do have a couple more Breaking Bad posters. Uh, those are definitely pretty cool. Like I said, Breaking Bad's my favorite show. So this is a decent bathroom, pretty cool. Right here, I just got a cabinet where I keep like my toothbrush and stuff like that. And if you guys remember earlier in the video, like I said, I like plants now, like they're pretty cool to have in like a house or something like that. So I got one plant right there. Then I got another plant. If you guys are a fan of uh, Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi, who's a fan of bonsai trees. So this is actually a bonsai tree. I thought that's pretty cool. And it matches my Boba Fett poster too. I'm also a big fan of Star Wars. So I thought that was a cool addition to the bathroom. And just a regular shower behind me. I don't really need to show you guys that. And I think my favorite addition to the bathroom probably, this is kind of like a hotel. So if you press this light right here, look at that, the whole mirror lights up. So that's definitely really cool. All right, so if you look over here, this is actually where my music studio is. And a lot of people don't know, but I feel like a lot of people at the same time do know now, because I've made a couple videos that I incorporated some of my music into. Uh, I actually have been doing music since, before I've even been doing shoes. I've been doing music since probably in about fifth grade, if I remember right. I started playing the drums and then I picked up the keyboard and guitar and I just love recording music and stuff like that. This is just like my mini in-house studio that I've built. Uh, I got just my microphone right here. I got a Bluebird. Uh, I forget the exact name. I'm not too technical with names, but it's a Bluebird microphone, pretty good microphone. And I got my little recording booth right there. I got Logic Pro X pulled up. That's where I actually record my music on. I got a little MIDI controller. And then of course I have my laptop. I got a Cam's Kicks video playing on that right there. So if you guys haven't seen Cam's Kicks, I think that's the channel we're on right now. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and uh, turn on the post notifications. And one more thing I wanted to mention real quick. So like I said, I have been doing music for a long time and I'm thinking about doing a music channel. So I had tried it before and I just didn't stay consistent on it. So. If I start doing that, would you guys watch it? Comment down below. I wanna see who would be interested in watching a music channel as well, but definitely let me know on that because that's something I definitely am interested in doing. But then if you look over here, like I said, I'm also a big fan of Star Wars. So I got a couple Star Wars posters right here. This one's just A New Hope. That's one of the most famous Star Wars movies, obviously. And then we also got Revenge of the Sith. That's actually my favorite Star Wars movie. So that's why I have a poster of that. And then right there, that's just a little drum, like artwork piece, I guess you could say. So nothing too crazy. And then if you guys look over here, this is the closet. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this right here, so there's no light switch in there. There's a little button right here. So if you press it, when the door shuts, it actually automatically turns on and off. So that's pretty cool. So if you guys look right here, this is where I store my shoe boxes for all the shoe containers I have right there. And then this is where I have all my shirts. My shorts and everything are up there. And as a lot of people saw, I used to wear like a lot of Bape and Supreme and vintage t-shirts, stuff like that. But I'm actually getting rid of all that. I'm gonna be selling it in the new store that we're gonna be opening in a couple months. And 
Now I like to just kind of keep it minimalistic. I don't like to show off my clothes so much. I like to show off my shoes more than that. So if you guys like this shirt right here, I actually got this for $5 at Walmart. So nothing too crazy. Uh, I like rocking simple tees like this. And right here, this first section right here is where I have all my merch tees. So I got like the back of the closet tee. This one's pretty cool. This one is a one of five. This is the Scams Brick shirt. Uh, we only made five of these and sold them for $100 each. I guess the people on the team did get one as well. So there's technically more than five in existence, but this is my personal one I have. All right, and then right here we got the OG logo. So this one's obviously in black. I also do have the gray one. I think I have a couple of these. This is one of my favorite tees and definitely pretty reminiscent going back to the old days before I had my new logo created. So this one's definitely really cool. And then I just got some like plain t-shirts, nothing too crazy. And then I just have a couple hoodies over here. So I actually have a lot of hoodies. Some people have asked where I got them from. So these are less than $20. I get these at H&M. So I get a lot of my clothes at H&M. I have like almost every color that they made in this hoodie. So that's kind of cool. And then like the only expensive clothing that I have left that I'm not going to sell is this Stone Island hoodie. I have this in blue and then I also have like an olive colorway. So it's got that nice little Stone Island patch on the sleeve right there. I think this is like a $300 hoodie, but I don't like spending money on clothes anymore. So this is like the only really expensive piece I have right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it for all my clothes. So I'll show you guys right here. This is where I have some of my like collectible things. So I don't know, I think a lot of people saw, I'm actually selling my Funko Pop collection on Instagram. So you guys can hit us up at canskicks.sc if you guys are interested in any of those. But I wanted to keep the Breaking Bad ones because that's like my favorite show of all time, like I keep mentioning. So, and then a lot of people don't know, but my favorite rapper of all time is NF. So this is pretty cool. I have his latest album. It's actually a mixtape. It's called Clouds the Mixtape. It's a signed copy of it right there. And I also have his album Perception. I have the CD of it. And then I also have a little signed version of it as well. This one isn't in the case or anything, but. And then this right here, this is kind of cool. This is a drumstick pencil. My sixth grade percussion teacher actually gave this to me. So I still have it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I did play percussion and band in, in uh, middle school. So that's kind of cool. All right, so then the last couple things I want to talk about in my closet is I have three watches right now. So I actually have been into watches for a while. I don't have anything too crazy. Eventually I want to get like a Rolex or something like that, but it just doesn't make sense to spend that much on a watch right now. So. I'll show you guys what I do have though. So this is a Tissot 1853 skeleton watch. So this is pretty cool. And then one that I've had for years, I don't really wear this one anymore. Um, this one wasn't really a good investment, but I thought it was cool at the time. It's just a standard Gucci watch. And then the one that I'm wearing right now, this is actually my favorite watch. I wear this one like every day. This is a 2013 Tag Heuer Monaco. And the cool thing I like about this, the interior is red on it. And I'll show you guys a shot of it later, but it actually has a skeleton back. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, I guess that's everything for my closet. The last thing I'll show you guys real quick. Uh, this is where I have all my filming equipment. So I got like the Canon 90D. This is what I film a majority of my videos on. And then I have a couple GoPros right there, some batteries, SD card, things like that. And then uh, one more thing I wanna show you guys in my room real quick. So I do have a guitar right here. I play a little guitar. Uh, I'm not too crazy good, but unfortunately it's missing a couple strings. So one of my friends here is actually gonna be stringing it for me. So if you're watching this, why are you over here stringing my guitar? Because I, I need to play the guitar. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much going to do it. I guess I'm kind of thirsty right now, so I think I'm going to go make a smoothie.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. Comment down below what you guys think if you guys wanna see some more videos like this. Also comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see here until we open up the store because we definitely have a lot of ideas in mind. But we just want to kind of see where your guys' heads are at and definitely comment down below too what you guys think we need because definitely we're still working on the apartment and everything and we definitely could add a lot more cool new additions. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and share this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you're not already following us on Instagram, make sure to follow us on Instagram at camskicks.sc and also our new Dallas page, camskicks.dtx. Lastly, of course you guys gotta make sure to check out the site, so make sure to check out canskicks.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great night.